Kratos in the match, who we have casted before. But there's Mel Garris and Bob that I don't remember from uh, earlier times. No, uh, I don't. Uh, I don't see Bob and Mel Garris. I think. Well, I know that definitely the War Machines of Portugal have a pretty big roster. Uh, I've seen that on their TVL page, and I think that. Well, you know, they came second. Yeah. I would be pretty happy by com coming second out of 16 teams in the opening league of uh, America's Army Proving Grounds on TWL. Maybe I'd definitely give... Well, I, I, I might not do it. I would definitely give my spot for somebody else if I was the one playing in the final. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. I mean, in the end... <laughs> in the end, this is a ladder match. So, um, where to test strategies in a real match setting, if not here? Right now we have, uh, I think, eight players on the server, so there are actually two missing still, uh, if I'm not counting you and me. And they should both be War Machine guys, so IG is ready in the server. We're gonna have, at the, in the lineup for them, like I said before, Secondhand Smoke, then Maui, Golden Boy, The Seven Show, and The Vaporizer. Yeah, interesting, I mean... Uh, I'm I'm just interested to see how this map is gonna be played out. As Maybe. you're saying, it's a new game, it's a new ladder, first match for both teams on this ladder. Let really see, you know, what kind. I mean, <laughs> if it was up to me, um, I'd just also try some crazy strat just to see how it works out. Right now, we're really in the beginning phase. It's it's so nice and refreshing and refreshing to have maps and games like this where you you can just make up a bit of your own strategy and possibly just you know either surprise or just you know have have people just shaking their heads at you what the hell did you do in your <laughs> second round um as we were saying that we have another familiar face familiar face joining the server and pura bufas who has also played in the finals in the north american league and i think a semi-finals as well if I remember that correctly, um, yeah, maybe... Pyrrhus Bufas was in both. Uh, did a pretty, yeah, it did all right. Um, yeah. Not, uh, yeah, not something that uh, <laughs> a big shocker. We had on the War Machines of Portugal. We had one, one person. I don't know if you remember. Uh, I don't have the name right now. But that uh, that one player that got uh, viral to not have a completely clean score. Oh, who was that with the last kill? I don't I remember. I think right it now. was uh, it was a, actually it was a female player. Oh, it was. Uh, I I think so. Out of the name, I must have. Uh, I concluded that it was a female oh, player. I don't remember. But anyways, well, maybe, maybe he or she uh, managed to uh, get the last kill on viral and make viral not go uh, fourteen and zero or something like that. Well, that also meant that Viral actually got a frag rate in that match. Imagine <laughs> he went to zero. He doesn't have a frag rate. That'd be that'd be horrible. Yeah. Um, I think an interesting idea or interesting point might be for this match here uh, to see what kind of weapons everyone is taking, because I think there is a possibility that someone might uh, opt opt haha <laughs> opt for an uh, M14 instead of an M4, or even a saw. Who knows? Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that, and also I'm interested in a in a nade layout from both teams, whether they have a lot of smokes or more going for nades and flashes or anything crazy like that. Uh, so we'll pay close attention to that as soon as the people as they all spawn and everyone. Yeah, I'd love to have like crazy strats going on. I know that's just me. That's that's my maybe weird mind and a bit. Been playing too many maps where or matches where you just go for one strategy and assault one strategy on defense and then you just try to make it work as mm -hmm. as good as possible. But try to have like you know they could definitely on defense you could definitely have you know maps uh, each round being completely different and uh, and and have I don't know uh, one round where everybody's going with the sniper and gonna be on the western roof and just really <laughs> waiting out there. Okay, I think that's a little too crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just get naded and flanked and everything. Um, I agree with you. I like I like seeing different, unique and crazy strategies in general, but uh, as long as they have some sort of promise of success or just a lot of fun, either way works for me. Um, there are maps, like you said, where you basically only have one possible strat that you just have to run perfectly in order to win the rounds. Uh, map come to mind like tunnel in America's Army 2, especially on Assault, 
where you have a set strategy all the way up to everyone throwing a, throwing his flash at a very very specific time and uh, in a very specific order and then running in a very specific spot in order to win the round um, the last guy by the way is joining right now that's game on um, and then or also in a hospital here you kind of know you have to have a guy in the back covering the outside you have to have one or two guys upstairs you have to have one or two guys watching the middle as well as uh, yeah, dark room defend, guys. let me just quickly set, turn off the voice over yeah, here. Yeah. there we go okay much better i think we are about ready and they should be spawning in just a second here you have any predictions for this match maybe no i don't um not really i mean it, it's too early in the in the ladder process to find a clear uh, favorite at the moment but the players are Picking for the team, so we're gonna have the War Machines of Paul Gill on Bravo, which we just agree would be the defense side, and then Alpha correct. being the assault side. Very correct. Uh, why have they not spawned yet on my screen? Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong side. They oh, okay, I see what's happening here. So, War right. Machines apparently also deciding they're not even bothering going outside and trying to cover that area, they're just all gonna go inside. Probably rush the flag and try to set up a defense there. Uh, let's quickly look at the guns here. We have an M4 on Kratos. We have another M4 that looks like a ACOG scope there. Uh, and they all seem to be running with M4s here. Actually, that's an ACOG. Uh, the others were red dots. Um, and on the other side, let's quickly fly over there to IG. All the way through all these vaults here. They also all going inside and having some nice duck dance here at the very beginning of the round. And uh, they're all going with pistols. <laughs> no. They're all going with pistols. <laughs> yep, they have thrown away. They have dropped their guns on this side, <laughs> put them in a trash can, and they're just going with pistols tonight. Maybe. We'll see. All right, and what I can well, see now can. is that we have Emperor's Bufus, and then we have Gamion as well. Gamion was also playing, I think, the semi, the final, not the semi-final. Oh, you say, yeah, Gamion, you're right. I think that's probably what it is. Uh, I'm just calling him Game On the whole time. Oh, yeah, but it could be that as well. <laughs> Uh, is the time set to 8.20 or is it just a bug right now? Because that is obvi obviously not right if that's... Uh, you don't want to go with that, please no. <laughs> I hope it's just going to set correctly once he sets it right. We will see, I think we're going live. And it we is are going live and indeed there we set go. set to 8.20, oh my god, this could take forever. IG keeps running and is also asking live for the... Okay, dead round, dead round, yep. The server is uh. going to be reset. Um, yeah, sorry about that, God. guys. We don't really have anything we can do in order to uh, to do that, to oh. change that. But what I can see is we have Akira Ray on the chat. Akira Ray, one of the War Machines of Portugal players. It'll be interesting to maybe hear some of the chat from Akira Ray. Oh Either yes, cheering please. Or not cheering. Akira Ray, who do you think will win this match? What will be the score? And for War Machines specifically. Who's gonna get the most kills and who's gonna get the least amount of kills? That's what I really want to know. Oh, so that was a lot us. of questions. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him again. I mean, you're gonna hear him in three minutes, anyways. Who's gonna win the match? What's gonna be the score? Who will have the most kills for War Machines and who will have the least amount of kills for War Machines? Let me know, Akada. I'm waiting for your chat answers. By the way, anyone else can answer the same questions as well. Uh, for both teams, of course, not only War Machines. And uh, let's get some activity into the chat while we try to sort the server out. And I'm sure we'll just have to click reconnect here. I'm actually <coughs> going to give it a try and hope it's good. And we'll hopefully go live soon here. So, what, is it just reconnect? Because. Yeah. yeah. It should be just reconnect. And it seems like it worked. I am back in spectate, but the time is still at 8.20 for me, so they might have not reset the server yet, actually. Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, just well, wait a little bit longer. frustrating, yeah. Always in the meantime, try to uh, follow us on Twitch TV, uh, both me and James Carter. I'll just quickly... Uh, on Twitch and also on uh, on the Twitter that would be fantastic um, 
just this way we can uh, provide some better content and tell you whenever we're going live and when we're not going live or probably when when we're going live yeah it's a big deal for us so please if you enjoy the stream follow us on the social medias and on twitch tv this way we'll try to make it as good as possible and tell you all the good stuff about america's army and whenever we have some matches to cast Otherwise, if uh, you're interested in some more casting and more uh, and and more streams about America's Army, I can already tell you that tomorrow James Carter and myself will be back for a whole lot of casting. Actually, we're gonna have two matches lined up for you guys: one tomorrow. for the European ladder and one for the North American ladder. Very true. That's gonna be that's gonna be tomorrow. You might have said that. Oh, I I probably missed that. Um, who is, oh god, who are we casting tomorrow? I kind of just, it slipped my mind, I have to say. Well, actually, we have, we have two we have to choose from. We have, I know we have the God's Favorite, and then we have yes. HJS, yes. Uh, HGS, um, and then there's also uh, another match at the same time. Yeah, that's Grown Up Gaming, which is part of the Underworld Preachers, which is a pretty big Portuguese multi-gaming clan. Uh, but the roster is actually very international. Like, they have uh, Norwegian guys and I think Czech guys and maybe a German, I'm not sure. And they're playing against Hard Game Solution. And uh, we will be casting, however, we will be casting that match. because Just because that these two guys asked for the cast earlier. And it's also for the higher rank, I guess, but that doesn't really matter right now. Point being, they asked for the cast earlier, and I think we'd rather take that for now. Um, we tried to get one of these matches rescheduled by plus minus an hour, so we could have both matches in a row. And there is still a slight chance it might happen, but I'd call it unlikely at this point. So, I'd say, let's just see what happens. Uh, yeah. Server is back up, it's currently on downtown though, so the map will be switched very soon. But that means we should be getting back into. So that's that's the one match we're gonna have tomorrow. Grow up gaming against hard game solutions, which is gonna be on lockdown. Uh, whereas the God's favorite match would have been on hospital. And in the evening we will have uh, OTP. That's one trick pony against VR Violent Resolution, and that is going to be for the number one spot in the North American ladder. And if I'm not mistaken, that's gonna be on hospital as well. Let me just quickly check that. It is on hospital. So same map as tonight. I guess that's a good practice. And wow, number one swap match for hospital. Oh, we have an answer by the way from Akira Ray. Yeah, I was just looking at that. So Akira Ray is actually confirming that they put on some recruits to play uh, the match. And uh, well, obviously he's rooting for them, his own team, and saying that Kratos will have the most kills. So. Uh, well, James Carter, I definitely think that you should put the camera on Kratos from time to time and see what he can do in order to give the Kratos side all the favors. Oh, I will definitely do that. And my game just crashed probably because the server, um, what's the word, changed map while I reconnected. So I am quickly going to get back in there here. Here we go, deploy. That should do the trick. They were training the oh. other hospital, in fact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is bad news. Maybe. We will see. Yeah, so uh, if it was the inner hospital, well, it Better. has to be the inner hospital that they train. So uh, as you as you, we saw in the beginning of the round, the little sneak peek we had there, they were all going towards the inner hospital. So it's probably with that. So I don't expect to see very fancy tactics coming from either... Uh, from the war machines of Portugal, if they've been practicing the wrong map, they have actually been practicing out of hospital. But oh, out of hospital. It was out of hospital. That's what he mentioned in the beginning. Um, however, maybe just because of that, we will see crazy strats because they haven't practiced this map. So they're going <laughs> to be a little bit more like you would say in nowadays YOLO. Uh, <laughs> how do you think? How do you feel about that word, by the way? Do you actually use that anyways, or are you just completely too old for that stuff already? I'm probably too old for that stuff, and <laughs> Good, I've never been a big fan of it. And yeah. and actually, I mean, the thing is, like, I love about it is like, okay, so 
before that, I always have the question when somebody is saying YOLO to me, like, what, did you really think you could die twice prior to... Actually, I can't remember, it was, a, it was an American comedian that came out with the term YOLO. It was? I don't even know how it got created, to be very honest with you. I think so. I, th I think it was an American comedian. But I don't know. I, don't, I mean, honestly...